Hi guys and welcome to the beginning of my moving vlogs. It's already December and I technically get my place January 1st so I have less than a month until I can actually start moving in. I won't actually be officially moving until closer to the middle of January but I am going to take a couple days here and there to just move some of my stuff up because it's only like a two and a half hour drive from my parents house so it's definitely manageable to like drive there and then come back. For about a month now I've been collecting things for my new place and with Black Friday just passing not that long ago I got a bunch of stuff so I was kind of waiting to start this. I already started organizing a little bit but this video is going to be a lot of organizing and probably a lot of talking. I'm so excited this is all happening. It feels like so fast even though I've known for a couple months now but everything the holiday season just goes so fast in general so I feel like Christmas is going to be here before I know it and then all of a sudden the new year and I'm going to be moving. It's also a really cozy snowy day. It's actually been snowing since like 7 a.m. purposely sat by the window for filming this video so that I can enjoy the snow. I'm gonna get started on organizing everything first. I'm actually gonna bring everything to this giant room. I'm just sitting in a giant empty room right now. It'll be easy to kind of lay everything out and like see what I have. Okay my room's a huge mess right now so just ignore that but that's because I have all of this stuff from Ikea which obviously I'm gonna leave the boxes in here because I'm not building them or anything until I move. But I'm gonna bring all of this stuff. Those are some of my Black Friday purchases and then that stuff I got from Ikea. I also have more stuff downstairs so I'm gonna bring that up too. My main goal for today is to kind of just just break down things into like bathroom stuff and bedroom stuff and I'm definitely gonna have a second day of this video because there's so much to do still I have to go through my entire closet and kind of like get rid of a bunch of clothes and just sort through all of them anyways one day at a time I still have like three weeks before I move so we're just gonna start by doing this stuff today Okay, so this is most of my stuff here. Um, the rest of it I kind of have to pack last minute. I have a designated kitchen bin started there, and then I think somewhere over here, yeah, I have a designated uh, bedroom box there. This is stuff that I've kind of already gone through, but I have to better organize. You know you're a diehard The Office fan when you literally have episodes and seasons on DVD. When I heard that they were taking it off Netflix, my mom went out and found these at the thrift store, actually. I'm pretty sure you can get them off Amazon, though. Before I start packing all this away, I wanted to show you guys my little collection that I've had since college. Every single time that I would go to Home Sense and Winners, I would look for anything that was like a kitchen item related to Kate Spade. I just had this obsession with Kate Spade at the time. I still love all this stuff now. Honestly, I don't know if I'll ever actually use it. So I have this collection of like aprons and hand towels and oven mitts and all this stuff but I've never I don't think I've ever actually worn any of it or used any of it I had this idea when I first started collecting them that I would decorate my bakery walls in this stuff and I just thought it was so cool so all this stuff is other than the fact that it's been folded really terribly and probably has a lot of wrinkles because of me it has never been worn so before I pack it all away I kind of just wanted to show you guys my little collection because I've never really like done anything with it other than just kept it packed away. I'm pretty sure I have the matching um, hand towel set for this, so I'm just going to look for that really quick. The first set that I have is just this all lemon set. It's the apron, which I'm pretty sure just has lemons on it. Yeah, it's nothing fancy, just lemons. And then the matching, this, I think these are like, they can be used as oven mitts or hot plate holders or whatever you want really. I have this really cool retro set. It says breakfast served all day open 24 hours and it's this really cool like teal retro color and I also have the matching that is not it. Where is it? The matching like hot holder set. It says coffee and donuts 250 and then just has like chocolate tea, coffee, donuts, iced tea, all that stuff on the back. This set is kind of special actually. I did my internship at La Dolce in Toronto when I was in school for baking and on my last day of my internship they actually gifted me this set which was so sweet of them. I talked the whole time I was there about how much I love Kate Spade stuff and they literally went to Winners and picked this out for me. I had the best supervisor when I was there and they're great teachers. I honestly think that I learned the most from interning there. I learned so much about decorating. I was actually in class at the college. I learned a lot about like French pastries and specific techniques, but I would say my intern experience at La Dolce is definitely what taught me the most about decorating. I think it was like my second or third day there. I literally just 
ice cakes, like not decorated them at all, just iced them to make them smooth on the outside. For eight hours that day, all I did was just ice cakes and learn how to get that perfect, like smooth outside. Hands down was the best way for me to learn how to do it. Anyways, that just got sidetracked a lot with that story, but that is the backstory of this set. The next one that kind of goes along with that whole theme, they're actually both of these. I have a yellow pair and a pink pair. Here's the pink apron. It's just this cute striped pink apron, but it says eat cake for breakfast. Another thing that I love about, I'm pretty sure this is on all of the Kate Spade aprons. Um, on the inside of the bottom, they always have this for good measure and it gives you like all the different breakdowns of measurements and how you can compare them and stuff. No, wait. Wait a second. Oh my god, Kay, I never knew until this day that I have two of the exact same apron. I've got two lemon aprons. Who needs two lemon aprons? Apparently me. I have a lot more of these smaller sets that just come with like one oven mitt, um, one pot holder, and then the tea towel. So I've got this flamingo one. I have this really cute, I don't even know really what theme you call this, I guess rosemary. I also have this really cute strawberry set. Oh, this one was actually on clearance. Um, it again just comes with the same stuff. This one looks like it is just the oven mitts. Yeah, it says like 75 cents for a slice of pie, apple, strawberry. Maybe this is like a pie themed one. And then I also have this really cute winter set, which I've always wanted to do a baking like Christmas video on this, but I probably won't do it this year. It's just this really pretty snowflake design and um, it says, be merry, be bright. And I also have the matching apron for this one. It just has snowflakes all over it. Oh, and it does say, it says, oh, what fun. Oh, this is another, this is an, is this Kate Spade? I didn't even know that I actually had this one. Um, it just has like a spoon and a whisk in the pocket and it says kiss the cook. I honestly didn't even know that I had this one. And this is the last oven mitt set in here. It's just like a cherry and ice cream sundae set. And it says Dreamy's ice cream on it with a bunch of cherries on the oven mitt. I wanted to show you guys that before I pack everything away in the box because that's gonna be a box that I just probably tape up and keep in storage for a couple of years. So just wanted to show you guys these cute little bento boxes that I got. Um, this one I got from a store that I honestly cannot pronounce the name, so I'm not gonna try. This one I just got from HomeSense, but eating healthier and not out all the time. So I forced myself to get some of these. I still have to get a lunch bag though. And then this is the other one that I got from HomeSense. It's a lot bigger and has more compartments. So I think that I'm gonna start with this bathroom stuff. I don't really have a bathroom bin started yet. I got two garbage cans. That one's gonna be for my room beside my desk, and then this one's gonna be for the bathroom. I'm gonna pack all of my bathroom stuff into this box right now. I just wanted to show you guys this. This is probably the bathroom item I'm most excited about. I've just been obsessed with everything Ray done, so of course I love this. And then this isn't as exciting, but I just got a plain white shower curtain and then just like a plain white shower liner as well. Okay, so it's been almost a week and I'm gonna attempt to tackle this closet today. I wanna go through all of my clothes because a lot of them I'm probably gonna be donating. A bunch of stuff up there that I need to go through because I do just wanna start packing some stuff away. made a lot of progress in my closet, but I also found this in there, which I kind of forgot that I bought. There's more than just a pillow in here. There's like some kitchen stuff in the bottom too. So I'm gonna go bring this to where all my other stuff is. These are a few things that I got. Just got some kitchen stuff. I love this little Ray Dunn set. It's so cute. I also wanted to show you guys that I got this printer on sale at Walmart actually yesterday. It's like a limited edition um, HP color series of printers or something like that. I got the green one, but they also had a blue and an orange one. <laughs>
guys so I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here the stuff that I have left to pack I'm gonna kind of do closer to the time basically my whole packing schedule has kind of changed I'm gonna start moving things up sooner than I expected anyways that's about it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time